Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of KTV. I am Johanna and with me is everyone's favorite robot nerd, Laid. Hey there. This is our second installment of the mini-series called Doing with Duaro. In this episode, we'll focus on the application of machine tending and the benefits that Duaro brings in the process. And as a bonus, we will show you how you can change your programming to best fit your operation. The primary feature of the Duaro is its two-arm configuration. The two arms provide the flexibility to expedite either load unload of a single machine or accommodate multiple machine operations while taking up a small amount of floor space. Whoa, sounds to me like having two arms in a small space can be very useful. That's right. For example, this video showcases the three programming styles for the arm motions. The simplest style is sequential programming, where the arm motions are interlaced to one another. This is a good method for using one arm to unload and the other to load. The sequential programming provides a natural weight between the motions of the two arms. The second style is called parallel motion and allows both arms to operate independently to one another. This method is perfect for tending multiple machines at the same time or allowing each arm to work at their own pace before the load-unload operation. The final style is cooperative motion where the two arms move together holding their relation to each other. This is the preferred method for handling larger, heavier, and flexible parts. Now, let's look at the bonus content on how to implement these programming styles. The sequential programming mode is the default mode. Steps are written in the order they are added, regardless of which arm is performing the motion. Steps can be easily moved, inserted, or deleted as needed. Parallel programming is done the same as sequential, with the exception of adding a start and stop to specify the block of steps in which you desire the independent motion. You can see that the sequential steps are transferred to side by side after the start and stop are added. The cooperative motion programming only requires a step to be taught for one of the two arms. The inclusion of the co-op start and stop is what instructs the other arm to automatically follow the taut arm positions. All right, guys, that is all from us today. We hope that this information will help you recognize your potential with the Duaro. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact us here. And please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can be up to date with what's going on at Kawasaki. Until next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>